Welcome once again to the PS2 Television Network. Um, bringing a few systems out of my own personal collection now. This is an NCR System 3300. It's actually uh, a model 3350 running Windows 95, as you can see there for a moment. This is a very interesting system in that it's one of the few clones that were made of the microchannel architecture. It was possible to license the uh, microchannel bus and architecture from IBM, but only a few people ever did, and IBM was much more aggressive, or so I've been told that IBM was much more aggressive in enforcing their rights with regard to the microchannel system design, where they had not been so aggressive with the old ISA bus systems. This is an interesting beast. As you can see, it does have support for uh, 256 color video on board provided by the NCR 77, oh heavens, what is it? 77 something chipset. <laughs> um, unfortunately, there are no native Windows 95 drivers for it. What you see here is actually a result of using the Windows 3.1 drivers on the system. Fortunately, they do work fine, at least as far as I can tell. Unfortunately, although the video adapter has one megabyte of memory and seems to be high color capable, the NCR Windows drivers never took advantage of this. So with that said, let's have a look inside. Okay, I actually got that monitor off my uh, scrap pile over here. This is all stuff that had been picked up from the trash and either it works fine or it's been awaiting repair, which just goes to show you what a wasteful society we can be. NCR did elect to copy some of the things that IBM had done with the PS2 lineup, but they didn't copy everything. Um, that thumb screw that you saw there, that was actually NCR's attempt at producing a system that was easily opened. As you can see here, I don't need any tools to do this. I just have to get the remaining two thumb screws out of here, and then the cover slides right off the machine. Easier if you're not holding a camera in your hand. And once we're inside, you can see the microchannel bus slots. Um, NCR had their own proprietary expansion slot. There's a real system speaker, which is always a nice touch, although it's come off of its mountings. You have the hard drive over here, which is an old IBM drive. It's just what I had handy. The disk bus is SCSI. NCR did use a processor card akin to what IBM did in the later model PS2s with processor complexes. But this is not as nice of an implementation as IBM managed. There's a Pentium Overdrive processor, which helps a lot with the speed. And then you have your power supply over here, which falls somewhere between the capabilities of the Model 70 and IBM's later offering, the Model 90. As far as the back goes, you can see that we have uh, an external SCSI port. Um, there are two, there's a serial port and a parallel port. Of course, you have PS2 ports for the mouse and keyboard. This came from a giant food market in Binghampton, New York. My other one came from Wisconsin. And then we have a card over here in the expansion bays. All that's pretty much the same as what IBM did. I could take the system a little further apart, but it's kind of a pain to do that. So that concludes this tour of the NCR 3350.